Hey, hey, what's going on, Knights? Name is Easy the Gamer. We'll go back to another epic video. So, really exciting patch, and I'm just going to jump into it. Uh, of course, it's early in the morning, but we have to get this done. Man, am I excited. So, first, uh, not, not, not about this one. Uh, I don't usually do too much specialty change because it takes too much work, I feel. <laughs> They're not usually worth sometimes. There's only like a couple specialty changes that are like really good. But let's go ahead and jump into it. Magic Scholar Doris. I think some people had already predicted that this was what was going to happen. Damn, look at that. That tree kind of reminded me of that one scene from Dr. Stone. Okay, uh, so she's obviously a healer, right? She's a... Um, I was about to say mage, uh, soul weaver. Alright, dispels one debuff from ally with magic before recovering their health and increasing their combat readiness by 50%. Amount recovered increases to a proportion of the... Wow. Okay, so that's skill 3. Okay. Oh, that was already there though. The only thing that's different is to dispel one debuff. Of course, um, you look into the skill tree, it's going to be, um, it's going to get really, uh, really, like, things get really crazy when you get into this uh, skill tree. Yeah, look, there it is. Increases speed by 5, increases health, effect resistance, okay, effect resistance of all allies. Okay, uh, skill 1, attacks with light energy before a 50% chance to decrease hit for one turn. It, does it not do that? It sounds like that sounds like something a uh, skill one would do. <laughs> um, increases mana bullets. Oh, uh, decrease hit chance by five percent. Okay. Uh, has a twenty uh, to increase cumberness of the caster by five percent after using. That's super weird. I don't know. Like, I wish it had a bit more. Like I get it, you can't give her too much because it's just a specialty change. But was that just a lucky, um, what's it called? <laughs> was that just a lucky dual attack? Because it doesn't say that he's gonna get a, like a percentage of dual attack or anything like that. To just spell one additional debuff, okay. I wonder what the um, cooldown for that is. It's probably not that much, like four or three. Of course the animations look really good. Yeah, <laughs> they're using Glenn. Okay. Um, recovers the health of all allies. Okay. After being attacked by Dark Element. Interesting. Okay. Uh, max 2% to increase defense of all allies for one turn after being attacked. Hmm. I think that one is a bit better. I don't know. Is that just me? I feel like the, the defense is a bit better. Has a t decreased damage suffered from critical hits by 30%. Okay. Hmm. 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 Oh, that's why. I'm stupid. I'm like, why? what are they trying to focus on? If they're focusing on freaking Arby. <laughs> if you don't have a counter to Arby, that's, that, 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 that's what this deal is. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? N now that I see that, um, it completely changed my mind. Because <laughs> I'm like, what? Why, why would I build her? Why would I, right? But... Since I've already have a few counters to RB, um, she, she's not really high on my list to actually build her, but she's a really good free to play. Um, I'm not gonna say free to play um, because you still have to summon her in a ML summon, but um, she, she, you don't have to obtain like an ML5 or a Nat5 to actually um counter rb which is kind of funny but um my final thoughts um that's that's it i think she's really good for uh budget that's that's a better way to put it or um kind of like uh she's not i'm not gonna say budget because i mean she's like half of a version of another hero she's not like another hero she doesn't she does stuff that other like you don't see soul weavers decreasing or increasing defense of uh when you get attacked by a dark hero and usually like you saw arby's gonna have aoe's anyway so that's interesting okay 
And let's get to the exciting part. Oh man, I'm excited. A new hunt. What the freaking heck with three, three freaking new equipment? What what is this gonna be? What like? I'm not ready for this. <laughs> okay, let's. I'll watch this later, but. Okay. What is what does it do though? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, danger level. The danger level increases every time an ally attacks. Damage dealt by the boss increases according to the danger level monsters, including the boss target on ally with highest danger level first. The danger level resets by using non-attack skills. That's interesting. That's interesting. Okay. So, like, I just saw um, Sir Mia being here. So, what is this going to be Earth? There's no way this is going to be Earth because this will just be a replaced by Golem. Okay. Resetting the danger level and protecting all. Okay. So, using non attack skills is going to be really good here. All right, so I have to build my Sermia. <laughs> Everybody hates that I haven't built her. I'm sorry. I just don't have the good gear for her. But I think I will put um, cigarettes, cigarettes gear on her because she has crit damage and she has pretty decent stats. Permanently decreases max health according to the damage. But what? So, this, this boss destroys health. No, what? Oh. Oh, yeah, I see it. <gasps> Bro, that's scary. <laughs> Bro, that's scary. But, okay, so you have to beat this fast, obviously. Okay. Oh no, so he dual attacks. Two normal monsters appear with the boss. The boss dual attacks when normal. Increases the combat readiness. Bro, what the? Okay, so question. Are you able to decrease combat readiness of this boss? If you can, then Lydica can be really good here. Kind of like where she was used in Golem. Okay, so... I wonder, I wonder how... Um, I wonder if using CDOM is good here or horrible use. <laughs> oh, dang. Okay, so that's like a month away practically. Three new equipment, man. What is it gonna be? Come on. That's freaking crazy. Wait, wait, revenge set. So this isn't a counter set, which is kind of weird to name it that. The hero's speed increases as their health lowers. Okay. That's interesting. So you want to use this for like tanks. Or, like, let's say Seabay, who gets attacked a lot. I don't know, this, it's, that's an interesting one. Okay. So this is more like to play around type of gear, not like gear to like, um, not extremely, like, you, you see attack sets or freaking crit damage sets. Injury set permanently decreases her. Oh, okay. That's the, that's a big one. Ooh, hmm, that's really cool. Okay, so they added the boss's element into 
this, which is really cool. Huh. I like that. Okay. Okay. I'm 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 listening. Dude, that's crazy. Mm, okay, so thank you for asking really good questions, uh dude on the right. Penetration set. What? <laughs> so there's two. They're two really good sets. And it's a two. Wait, what? It's a two set? This is two pieces, right? That means this is two set. Penetrates the target demon by a certain amount when the when using a single target skill. Dang it. Okay, but still, that is very interesting. Uh, I think they put single target skills specifically because they did not want to make RB even more broken. Okay, unequipped. This is unequipped. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm understanding. I'm understanding. But she already she already ignores defense like 50%, right? Which which will obviously right um just give her more chance to ignore defense. Okay, that was a significant jump. What was that like? Three thousand. Okay. Wait, so he didn't answer. Is that yes? Okay, yeah. Okay, so he's he's saying yes. Okay. Is it because the subtitles didn't say anything? That's interesting. Okay. Oh man, okay, that's a lot to unpack. Okay, so in a month, oh man, I'm <laughs> too excited. Um, so I guess from here on out, just start building. I mean, I've already have these heroes built. I feel like, uh, like you saw Tamarines there. I wonder if you need a double healer. You need, you need something like, um, it seems like, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll test thing. I mean, we can't test things out yet. Right. But, um, heroes with non-attack skill. I wonder if they're right. Like you can use Lulu. I already built her for Wyvern. So. Hmm. I wonder if C Dom, like I said, I wonder if C Dom's good there. Cause she obviously does good damage, right? She's a one shot queen. Um who else would be good? I don't know. But let me know in the in the comment section down below. This seems really, really fun. And I'm sorry if I sound really weird. Um, like I said, this is early in the morning and it's probably not early in the morning when I upload this, because this it will take a little bit to actually render, but um yeah let me know what y'all think down below it's 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 really they they uh, every time you think they're done they always add something to reel everybody back which is really crazy i love that they just randomly like hey by the way new hunt and new gear sets which is really cool i like the two penetrate defense and the destroy hp um sets so um, can't wait for it. So anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video Every like comment subscription is appreciated and I'll see you on the next video or stream. All right. Peace